Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you notify every time we drop new content. Now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, Starbrim, who's an affiliate of rapper Cardi B, actually known to be her best friend, has been sentenced to one year in prison after she was involved in a Rico gang indictment that involved the blood gang sector 59 Brims. Star Brim wasn't just involved neither because she was labeled as the godmother of the gang, which means that she held a very high ranking amongst others within the organization. Now, in February of 2020, Yannette Respis, aka Star Brim, was involved in the federal RICO gang indictment along with 18 others charged with racketeering conspiracy. She was facing one count of maiming and assault and aid of racketeering. She was also charged with slashing another individual's face and for ordering the beating of two bartenders that allegedly had issues with her bestie, Cardi B. As a gang, the 5'9 Brims, in which Star was known as the godmother of, was hit with charges ranging from bodies and attempted bodies down to racketeering, narcotics dealing, and gun running. Prosecutors would say that the 5'9 Brims is a very violent criminal organization that terrorized Brooklyn and Queens by committing brutal acts of violence in public areas, as well as defraud victims through financial schemes. Financial schemes in which Starr herself was charged and convicted for wire fraud after serving just six months for it and released back in 2019. This is one of the many things that tied into the RICO with the 59 Brims, aside from being identified as Star Brim, the godmother. Now, initially, Star Brim was looking at serving 50 years if she was convicted for her involvement in the RICO indictment. However, it's been announced yesterday that Cardi B's right-hand man has been found guilty but would take a plea deal to serve only one year and one day in prison. On top of that, she would be placed on three years of supervised release and have to abide by strict stipulations. Those stipulations would include Star participating in the outpatient mental health treatment program, periodic drug testing, pay $100 special assessment fee, and not associate with any blood gang members or any of its factions upon her release. Now, according to reports, Star will have to surrender to the Federal Correctional Institution in Danbury, Connecticut before 2 p.m. on July 1st, 2024. Now, of course, like anything in this world, drama is somewhere lurking not too far behind. This is because Star will be accused of cooperating with law enforcement to get a reduction on her sentence. The fact that she was facing 50 years and only received one year on a federal RICO charge, labeled as a godmother of a gang organization where people were killed and attempted killings happened, it definitely has people scratching their heads. One of those people who has been very boisterous about his opinions on Star Brim is another YouTuber by the name of China Brim. Now, judging by his name, you could tell that he allegedly has affiliation to the same blood gang sector as Star once did in the past. And before it was even released that she'll be serving only one year, he'd been saying that she was a snitch and cooperated with law enforcement. He even went as far as targeting the people that allegedly knew she was cooperating, but still supported her based on her popularity and affiliation with Cardi B. Now, I can't repost everything, so if y'all want to see what China Brim had to say towards Star cooperating and why he feels she did, Go on over to his Instagram at 050 the movement. That's 050 DA movement. Now here's what I will play. After it came out that Star only received a year and a day, China would go live with some of his associates, and this is what he had to say. No, I, I, want, I, want, I want people to call. I ain't picking up no spam. Tell me about Star Brent. I want people, I want y'all to say, no, she ain't a rat. Where's the paperwork? No, the paperwork is under still indictment. 
That's yeah, that's, that's the thing. Yo, uh, Relly really saying Anytime he back they say, where's the paperwork? You say, it's under seal indictment. It's sealed. What the is it sealed? Ask Hump, ask that where the paperwork at. Y'all supposed to ask Star Brick. Star yeah. Brick. Why your sealed? Why is it sealed? Why? You supposed to, you supposed yeah, to be I'm like cool. the like us, like you're supposed to be members. We don't get our sealed until later on after we blow trial and all that. Then we get our sealed and, and then we go through uh, all, all our pills and all that. Then we get, you know, the judge order certain. No, but at the beginning, as soon as you take a plea bargain, it's sealed. Because we members, we don't get because we wait seven years after parole and we get our expunged. Here you go, China. You run with the you can't run with me. Come on. Yo, salute. Now, before I get into her sealed documents, here's what Starbrim herself had to say when she was accused of being a snitch in the past. Check this out. Stuff, bro. That I actually want time, bro. I want time just to prove a point. Just to prove a point that I held it down. Like now, first and foremost, <laughs> when I first seen that video clip, it was obviously before the verdict came out. But when I seen that, I automatically thought she's guilty. You know, it's no way in hell you would ever say publicly that you actually wish that you would go to jail just to prove to people that you didn't cooperate. Right? Let me tell y'all right now. Ain't nobody in this world that important that will make me want to go to jail just to prove a point about cooperating. It's either I did or I didn't, especially if I know I didn't cooperate. So that statement right there is what made me feel that she may be guilty. We don't know what she did or didn't do. But if we're going off common sense and logic, it doesn't make sense. She's receiving a year in a day, which in federal time, she won't even do the whole year. My guess is she'll do about nine to 10 months or only do a few and spend the rest on house arrest. I'm not sure, but that's possible. Keep in mind a year for a RICO indictment that involved body dropping and attempted body dropping and you were prior felon and you was labeled the godmother. Something isn't right. I know people with non-violent fraud charges with no priors that done got more time than that, right? Now, China states that her indictment has been sealed. I haven't did the proper due diligence and looked into the case because I feel it's pointless. So I'm not really sure if it's sealed or not, right? But it's pretty obvious what's going on just based on what the media has told us. But if her indictment or paperwork is in fact sealed, then there's no more to be said. You know, all these sealed court documents these guys are doing these days, it just ain't adding up. You know, since when did the gangsters start sealing paperwork? You know, the gang members and the street guys, since when was it cool or trending to seal your paperwork and why? You know, usually when you're sealing paperwork, it's because you're hiding something that you don't want the public to see. So what are you hiding from the public? You know, to me, once you seal it, it's a dead giveaway. Now, also, the court transcripts also told us enough. Here's a tweet from someone that was doing coverage on the case, as it will say, quote, Here are the transcripts of Cardi B's best friend, Star Brim, entering into a plea agreement with the United States government. In this agreement, she admitted to being a senior member, godmother, of the gang. She also provided names, which were omitted from the paperwork for her protection. She provided dates, times, and omitted specific events, crimes, for which the gang was being investigated. Now, omitted basically means that there was something left out. You know, it means that something wasn't included, and if they say things were omitted for her protection, then what do you think that means? You know, and if her paperwork is sealed as well, what do you think that means? Now, once again, we don't know. All we could do at this point is make assumptions based off what we're told from the media. There's actually other guys who were caught up in this RICO too, and they were considered godfathers. You know, the way Star was considered a godmother, which is a high ranking. So um, I haven't seen anything telling us how much time they received. So I'm not sure if they've been sentenced yet, but let's see what type of time they get. She went from facing 50 years to doing only one. Right? So either she has God himself as her lawyer or something ain't adding up. Simple. But anyway, y'all jump in the comments and let me know what y'all think about this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.